Hey, this is Professor Perez again. Today we're going to work on perimeter. Now, perimeter problems can be challenging, but don't worry. We'll work at it and you'll see how easy it can be. Anyway, let's get out, Charlie. Let's see if he's ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? Yeah. We're doing your favorite subject today, finding perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, he likes those. Okay, here we go, Charlie. Let's get to work. Find the perimeter right there. Okay. Now, if you're using the worksheet at home, you will have these sides labeled as such. Five centimeters there, ten centimeters there, one centimeter there, and that step right there is six centimeters. Now, finding the perimeter means we have to sum up all those side lengths of our shape up here. We gotta go five plus ten plus one plus six, but we gotta find those missing lengths up there. Okay? Now, we don't know that side length and we don't know that top one up there, so we have to find those. So what we're going to do here is we're going to first look at our horizontal lengths only. Horizontal means this way, okay? So we know that's 10 right there, and that step there is 6. Now pay attention, Charlie, watch. I'm going to walk you through this one. Now, we need to find that top one up there. Well, realize here, all the way across the bottom is 10. Watch. Now watch this, Charlie. Okay? If all the way across the bottom is 10, and that step is 6, okay, here's where your addition skills come into play. If that's six there, and the whole thing is 10, how much more do we need, Charlie? Four. Four, that's right. And so that missing length right there is four centimeters. Now realize that four centimeters is the same as the top up there, okay? So now, in your figure, label your side length up there as four centimeters. So that wasn't too bad. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at our vertical lengths here. So we have five centimeters there, one centimeter over there, and we need that length right there, okay? Now, let's put some brackets there. Now watch what happens, Charlie. This whole thing is five, and we know this little piece here is one. Now, all the way up is five, and if that's one, what's that missing side length up there, Charlie? Four. It's four, that's right. Why is it four, Charlie? Because one plus four is five. Because four plus one is five. So there we go. So now we're going to move that one back over there, and now we're going to label our missing length right there as four centimeters, right? There you go. Okay, so there's our shape. Let's put in our missing lengths there. We have a four up there on top and a four right there. There we go, Charlie. Now, to find perimeter, the perimeter is the sum of all those side lengths. Remember, sum means addition. We're going to add these all up. Now, here we go. The perimeter, we're going to add these up. We'll move around from the bottom, okay? We'll put the 10 there, okay? And then we'll put that one. There we go. And we'll put the step, which is six, okay? And then we got that four there. And then we have the four on top coming across. And then we'll come home with that five. So we went all the way around the shape, okay? And don't forget to put your units. Your units are centimeters, okay? Now, here we go, Charlie. Now, we're going to do what we call Kung Fu math. What? <laughs> You'll see. Okay. Well, when you're adding numbers together, you can actually add in any order. Only when you're adding everything together. We'll talk more about that as we go through the semester. Now, watch. What we're going to do here is take this 10 and put it over there. Okay? Now, you see those numbers that are left, Charlie? How much is 6 and 4? That seems easy for some reason. How much is 6 and 4, Charlie? 10, 10, okay. So let's write 10 over there and we'll cross those out, okay? Now we'll take a break. Okay, let's go on. Now, what's left over, Charlie? We have a one and a four and a five. So what do those add up to, Charlie? 10? 10, because one and four is five and five and five is 10. Or you can say five and four is nine and one is 10, however you think. But when you add those three numbers together, you do get a 10. And so we'll put a 10 over there, cross those out, don't forget our units. Now, we did some Kung Fu math now. Makes it easy. What's 10 plus 10 plus 10, Charlie? 30. 30 centimeters. Very nice. Don't forget to box your answer. Okay, that was a good warm-up problem. Now, we go to a tougher one now. Here we go. Oh, okay, find the perimeter of this one, Charlie. Ooh, don't get scared. Now, we're going to do the same thing as we did last time. We're going to find our two missing lengths. Well, notice we have to find that horizontal length there and that vertical length, okay? Those are the two missing lengths we gotta find. Our dimensions are in inches this time. Okay, here we go. Now, we're first gonna start with our horizontal lengths. We got 17 up there, seven here. 
and the bottom is 10. Now, we've got to find that missing length there, right? Okay, this is a tough one, though. Just pay attention here. First, what we're going to do is see the 10 and the 7 right there, Charlie. Well, if that's 10 and that's 7, what's that missing length right across right there? 3. 3 inches, because 7 and 3 is 10. Now, we got those 3 inches. Now, realize if we move that 3 inches up there, we see, okay, that's 3 inches there. Now, notice all the way across the top is 17, right? If this is 3, how do we find that missing length, Charlie? 17 subtract 3. What number do we add to 3 to get 17? Or what 17 subtract 3, however you think. But what does that missing length have to be, Charlie? 14. Very nice. It's got to be 14 because 14 plus 3 is 17. There you go. Now, let's work on this vertical length right here. Okay. Vertically, we have 11. We have 4 over there. We have a 2 there. Now, all the way up and down is 11. So, let's find this missing length right here. So, let's bring that 4 and the 2 over. Okay. There's the 2. There's the 4. Now, all the way up and down is 11. Okay. And now you've got a 4 up there and a 2 down here. So it's like a subtraction problem. Okay, 4 and 2 adds up to how much, Charlie? 6. 6. So how much do we add to 6 to get 11, Charlie? 5. Think of the number line. 5. It is 5. So our missing length there should be 5 inches. That makes sense because add those numbers together. 4 plus 5 is 9 plus 2 is 11. Okay, and so now... We have all of our missing lengths there, okay? And so we'll go ahead and label them on our picture. Okay, we have five inches here, and we have 14 inches over there. Now this is a tough problem, finding those lengths. It takes practice, right? Okay, so what we have to do now is we're gonna add up all of our side lengths, okay? Now watch this, Charlie. I'm gonna mark, this little red dot here is gonna show you how to add up the numbers, okay? So go ahead and look at it, there you go. Ooh. Okay, we went all the, round, all the way around the figure. Did you see it? Do it again. Okay, I'll do it again. Watch closely, Charlie. All right, did you get that? Oh, I'm sorry, that was too fast. Huh? Okay, keep your eye on it, Charlie. Don't take your eye off it. Watch it, now go real slow. Okay, you ready? Don't take your eye off. Here it comes. Oh, you like that, huh? Anyway, let's add up all our numbers together. Here we go. So we should, if you add them up in that path, you should have a 10 plus a 2 plus a 7 plus a 5 plus a 14 plus a 4 plus a 17 plus 11 inches. Okay? All right. Now, let's do some more kung fu math. Let's take this 10 and we'll throw it over there. Okay, cross that one out. Now, let's try 2 plus 7 plus 5. Can you do that, Charlie? What do you get? 14. Okay, 14. Because... 2 plus 7 is 9, plus 5 is 14, however you think about that. Okay, we'll cross those off, and we'll put this 14, we'll just put that over there. Okay, and how much is 4 and 17? We'll try that one. How much is that? 21. 21, okay, we'll put those down, and don't forget we still have an 11. Our units are inches. Okay, so here we go. Now, again, we're going to group together. 14 and 14 is 28, plus 10 is how much, Charlie? 38. 38. How about 21 and 11? 32. That's 32. Okay. Now, watch this. We've got to add 38 and 32. Well, how are we doing these additions? Okay. Well, sometimes it's easier to think of the numbers in expanded form. Watch. Let's think of 32 in expanded form as 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 2. Well, we're going to add 38 to that. So 38 plus 10 is 48, plus 10 is 58, plus 10 is 68. Plus two more gives you how much, Charlie? 70. 70 inches. Whew. Now, that was a tough problem there. I like to call that the attitude adjustment problem. Okay? But anyway, you've got to practice at this. Ask your facilitator or teacher or parent to help you out with this. But get this stuff down. You've just got to practice. Anyway, we'll see you all again soon.